um, thought, hey, I should tell the guys how to do a drop shadow. So, um, yes, this is the size of a merch shirt. No, it is not a translucent background. Um, I just thought it would be easier for you guys to see on a white background without all the checks um, distracting you. So, to add a drop shadow to some text, we are on our text tool. I just chose some random whatever. Um, let's change this though so that you'll be able to see the shadow easier on the white. Um, okay, and let's just do four. Okay, now highlight, you know, click and drag, filters. See, I've been working with drop shadows. Light and shadow, drop shadow. And here is where you determine the color of your drop shadow. Um, doesn't have to be black. It can be any color that you guys want it to be. You can make it as hard or as soft as you want, you know, color-wise, like um, opacity. And this is basically how big it, your drop shadow is, pretty much. Um, and click OK. And that's it. It does it all for you. It is amazing. Um, I really, 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 really encourage you guys to play with this stuff. Um, now, changing those, the numbers that I showed you, the, uh, this stuff, changing this stuff, offset, you know, is, um, uh, offset from the letters, you know, like see how it's, you've got your X and Y axis and it's how far over and down it is from the, the font or from the letters that you typed in. Um, basically think about like where the, where the light source is coming from essentially. And you know how that determines where a shadow is. And then um, just play, play around with this stuff. If you don't like it, go to drop shadow and hit trash and it's gone. Okay. And then do it again. Try it, you know, do it differently. It helps to be on the word that you're trying to mess with. Um, I can't see what I'm doing. Anyway, um, in this filters thing, no, I don't want to do that, but okay. Just look around in the filters. There are tons of things that you can do to your fonts. Um, tons and tons and tons and tons of things that you can do with your fonts. Um, play around. Don't do it on your shirt. You know, just open a new file, type in some nonsense, highlight it and play with it. Change it. See what there is. You know, um, there's just so many things that you can do. Add a bevel, add a coffee stain. You know, I mean, play. That the best way to learn is to play. It's not just for kids, it, you know, that's adults too. So there is your quick GIMP for merch tutorial of the day, how to add a drop shadow. Um, here, I'll do it one more time. Okay, there is our word. We're highlighting it. Filters, light and shadow drop shadow. Okay. Now let's change it. Let's not have the offset so much. Okay. It doesn't, they don't have to be the same by the way, and we'll take out some of the blur. Okay. We click okay. It does its GIMP magic words. And once it renders, sorry, I have so much going on on my laptop right now. Okay. See how it's different? Do you see I lowered the um, the X and Y offset so it brought it closer to the font that I typed. It brought it closer to our blue, um, so the sun wasn't a, isn't at as much of an angle. Okay, um, 
and I reduced the blur a little bit so it's not um, it's not as prominent. And that's it guys, drop shadow. But think about if you have, you know, if you have, um, let's say, let's change our font, let's change our color to, we'll just go with black. Okay, and we go here and we go, this is, okay. Now think about if you've got a shirt, okay. Oh, hey, that works with, uh, Divergent stuff coming out. Anyways, um, you know, if you've got a shirt and you've just got like, you know, boom, boom, and then you've got this one word, different color, has a drop shadow, you know, these are things that are interesting. These are things that draw people's eye. So think about that. Think about playing around with font colors. Think about using different fonts. Your whole t-shirt does not and probably should not be all in one font. Um, you probably have one, you know, main word, um, one, you know, like the punchline or whatever, you know. Think about using a different color. Think about using a different font. Think about adding a drop shadow. Um, you know, think about playing with some of the other... Uh, you know, a lens flare, supernova, you know, make one bubbly. Um, there's just so many things that you guys can do. I just, I really want you to play with it. It is the best way that you're going to learn. That's where your best designs are going to come from. I hope this was helpful. If it was, let me know. If it wasn't, let me know what else you need. Uh, any questions, any requests, put them in the comments below as always. Thanks for watching guys.